You know, many years ago, they said a man should not be judged by how good he builds. That's a lucky one, really, don't you think? <laughs> Welcome to Dad's RC Hangar. Yes, you are back for another great video. Uh, this video, obviously, on the Tiger Moth, uh, the build. Uh, this is part two of the build, which will be also a fix. And it's a couple of tips, yeah. Um, let's have a look to see what more disastrous things that uh, that happened. Be right back. Okay, back in the room. So you saw this, or uh, well, familiar with this sort of site from uh, last week uh, when I had that uh, that unfortunate moment of putting the uh, one of the elevators back to front yes she was sitting like that uh, not like that um, as you can see that uh, I tried to use some um, debonder if I can get that in focus you were going to focus today thank you very much and it got a bit of a paint so I want to actually see if I can spray that hmm, be interesting as you can see I've got some new uh, clips clips they're not clips are they they're, they're um, hinges and they are basically uh, I think they call them CA hinges something like that anyway CA, CA hinges now I hunted high and low for these yes you are noticing that I've got hinges on there and you're thinking how has he got hinges on there we'll go into that in a moment uh, <laughs> so these but they're very I mean they're strong but they they just don't seem like the ones that originally they just seem too papery so, I had the brilliant idea of sticking two together with CA glue, and it seems to do the trick, except it's a bit, I think, a bit stiff. I mean, if you look on here, um, let's do that way so you don't get the brightness and everything. So, it's not bad. You know, there are two in there. So, I really made uh, a pig's ear of cutting out the hole. Well, not really a, a pig's ear, but have a look at this uh, video quick. So, excuse the wobbliness, because it was with my iPhone when I decided to do it. So, as you can see, that's how I ground away. Now, the trouble is, is that the grinder, or my, uh, my, the Dremel, Dremel? Yeah. It only comes a certain way, where this was obviously deeper, so I had to use the blade on it. Now, on here, as you can see, the slit's a bit holy. So, I'll see how these in, but what I need to do is, what I've done the same on, on here, on the... Uh, on back on here and uh, let me just uh, get this in shot properly for you um, get that in shot there you go I had a problem um, now I really need to work on these camera angles really because it's kind of hard to show you I'm hoping you can see uh, what's going on but anyway I went to put the, the I, I got this on and I was so happy I thought yes it's all going to go well. It's going to go brilliant. Um, I got all excited and thought, let's let's put the rudder on. Let's stick the rudder on. Oh God, yeah! As soon as the CA engines come on, I can put this on, and we're going to really go for gold and everything else. Trouble is, you meant to put the wheel the on here first before you put the rudder on. <laughs> Slight undersight, oversight, oversight. Yes. So, the rudder wheel, yes, what a, yeah, that was a beep beep moment. Hence, while we now have got uh, hinges, more new hinges, and you say, I think once they bend, they'll be fine. And I used some epoxy to fit in the holes, uh, which I'm just going to cut down now, actually, while live on camera. Um, it's just, just, just to, uh, without cutting the CA hinge itself. Uh, maybe I should uh, maybe put a bit of sandpaper, but it's a bit crispy. Crispy. I thought I'd uh, wait and do it on the camera. I have got different. I should get a bit of bit of sandpaper on that. Now I've got different grades of sandpaper for when I eventually paint or spray, should I say? It's great. This actually, you get a box full of different different grades uh, from abrasive to uh not abrasive it's all electro coated as well which is really really good 
it means it uh, it stays abrasive longer I guess now this is wet and dry as well but if I just get a piece of this which is semi abrasive uh, just turn it's just the way the uh, it's all poking out of it but trouble is I mean it's it's lucky I did this because oh, in fact let me just show you here let me should I whiz this round let me whiz it round it would be better in fact let me show you here right this is this is dad's RC tip okay now uh, did I a bit premature on that right so the way this this goes in on, on the uh, it's actually on the manual um, is that let's put that before I break that it's what happens when you're all close up and personal oh zoom me out a bit now this sits in in the in the rudder like so okay so you have to draw your own hole and that sits out there like so now if you'll notice that you've got yours and you're saying hang about that mine looks a bit different mine's let's get it up and close and personal again if it come on there we go no so I think that's focused anyway this did go all the way up I've actually cut this now you're asking why well when this you have to make your own slit here at the back um, so it's all a bit so that sits in like so if I put it so it's where it, sh where it was like that then if I stick this you sort one sort of thing is you need like ten ten hands right if I stick that in and if I stick it in where it was do you see that gap I could park a car in there okay slight exaggeration I couldn't but that is the gap you'd be with deal with so my cunning plan which worked but I used the Dremel tool and at the back now this is going to be the see if I can get this baby in focus so on here I just use the round Dremel tool which I'll show you in a minute just to gently make a nice little sort of uh, half circle gully in that and also where this hit the bottom of the rudder so on all fingers and thumbs it's actually a Saturday yes yesterday in the UK which was what date was it yesterday it was Friday the 17th of July 2020 <laughs> we won't talk about 2020 it was so hot in here when I got home from work it was like 30 whatever that is and I was no way I'd have been sitting here losing weight and that would be a terrible thing so I'm doing it on a Saturday morning and today the weather's just totally changed hmm, never mind right so crazy British weather so here I cut this piece off so it's still it's still gonna hold it's still gonna be good and no I haven't got my teeth <laughs> we've got another week yet and I did exactly the same here as well with the Dremel. Now this one's a bit more, oh god, so I don't know if that's going to be any strengthening once. But I've done the galley. So now when I fit this in, the bar, okay, I can't even see that it's going to be so, I'm going to have to stick this in. So it's going to be like a, there you go, let's just put that in there. See, it actually, when I, stuck, when I stick it in, it's going to be inside. So with that saying that, uh, let's put this in, which is the, all fingers and thumbs again ah. so that pushes right down in that gully and if I put these in here excuse me if I just turn that a bit I'd probably be able to push down a bit more actually but there you go not much of a gap at all in fact the gap you would expect and the as you can see the the wheel would be turning around so when you do this, have a think, I mean, you know, read the manual, you know, RTFM, read the <laughs> manual, <laughs> RTFM, remember that. Um, I, just, I just got too excited, I think, and just, yeah, let's stick this on before we do the video to tomorrow, or whenever it was, um, forgot about the wheel. So these takes a couple of screws in the back of there, which we'll do in a little while. So I think what I can do first is uh, I'm going to stick... This, have I just jumped myself and jumped again? Hopefully, this will work. I don't see why it won't. 
but yeah so anyway those yeah this is what i did i stuck jumping the gun again you gotta keep with me people come on keep with me too many copies this morning probably uh yeah these ca hinges really random but uh you know i couldn't find many so the ones i did get i just got and grabbed but i also got these ones which are tiny teeny weeny but they're a bit more how you'd want them you know a bit more rigid where these ones which are the ones that uh, i've put in a bit papery you know strong you can't but anyway so sticking two together works for me um he says uh you know i've got some good servos some uh metal gear servos metal ball bearings um so you know they, they should they should take the talk even if it's a bit right so um i have stuck these in uh as you can see they they look a bit tight they probably are but then again they're probably a bit encrusted so i think once i move them about a bit it's going to loosen up a bit like when you use your foam planes i think there you go that's not too bad and as i say i put some epoxy in here to to fill up the holes basically which i'm going to have to do with the um with also the this is the original uh, elevator um if i can just see that up and close you can see there's a bit of a gap so it's, this is going to turn but it's also got that gap so i need to fill the epoxy in here and here so it's it's level and doesn't move that one was okay i had fun with that one that was a good one even that's got a bit more of a gap i mean i could probably put some more uh i could probably put like these i could probably put these down the edge to keep it more central i might do that just so i know i'm center before i epoxy as a bit of a, a gap filler now to save video time um you're not going to need to uh, see what i'm doing i've told you what i'm doing i'm also going to epoxy uh epoxy this uh into the uh into the rudder so that's going to be epoxy down or maybe even in fact i need to cut just a little bit nick on that and that's why it's it's uh pushing out a bit i could even ca that actually just so it holds there and the phone's going be hot back in a second okay until we was rudely interrupted by the telephone and also i was just rubbing down and gluing stuff so i've now done the epoxy i use the uh benchcraft uh, epoxy five minute epoxy the resin and hardener which is cool stuff and it's basically it sets in five minutes handling time in 20 full hardness in two hours so um i sort of uh took it off cam because you didn't need to see me rubbing down and i didn't want to do a fast shot and everything else but this is this is basically rubbed down and it's flat uh flattish um i've actually put the i put the i put epoxy in here with the i did cut some of them um some of this uh whatever you call it ca hinges i did cut as you see there's a bit cut down just to stick it down the side so it didn't flap about or anything else it probably wouldn't have done with the ca in there but and it's just sort of put epoxy in there just to bond it so it's nice and level as straight as you can roughly see i also um put epoxy on the towel wheel you can see that really i should move this out of the way <laughs> hello um there you go Let's see if i can get a real close shot there you go so that's all inset and you know that's kind of plush so that uh, that will hug it's only where this comes up now which i'll have to rub down i'm a bit worried about that gap in there yeah well it might be all right when i epoxy but once i once it's in i can always try and stick some glue in there so i'm going to leave that for uh for a little while um i don't want to start cracking on with it, anything else but this is why i started this morning um um yeah to see um so everything can dry and i can get this done in one day hopefully and get this tail section done um with the motor i'm going to go with central i'm going to put it central to the uh, firewall um yeah so we can do that but i think after this is comes the uh, undercarriage and stuff some really cool stuff i've been working out what i can do with the bottle um lots more stuff to talk about um but yeah so i'm going to leave you there 
for me I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and uh, leave it at least half an hour before I start thinking of a bit of rub down um, and then we'll come back and we'll um, we'll stick it in here and um, yeah hold tight okay so as you can see I've put the other um, elevator on because you didn't really need to see me to do that which has gone on fine um, it's not bad I've got a bit of a a raised area here it's hard to see in there but it's just not a flat surface now obviously the winds coming this way so it shouldn't affect it that much um, I mean if this flies at all it's going to be amazing um, it's just where I've got these slight gaps now I've got this here as well this is my main concern at the moment um, if I can just get that in and get out the light there's a bit more of a gap here where I went a bit crazy this is stuck in nice this is all level and set get that in why does it go out of focus stupid thing there we go it's all nice and uh, lovely so i just went to put this in so i thought well I'll, I'll video this one because obviously you want to see what i'm doing so that that's where i cut cut that's where i cut so that was down there and it just it was just horrible um so i just cut that set bits in nice up there and then makes goes into that hole that you have to make and it's it's all looking pretty good except mind you saying that it all looks pretty good on that one i <laughs> i just put it in just a minute ago and i had that raised area but on the on this side but, i mean that seems to be that seems to be trick now I, i'm a bit worried about putting um putting some you can see it's uh not going to sit straight until it's got like the the uh, servos going but we are we are kind of like trying to trying to polish a turd <laughs> you know i mean the best advice that i can offer about the build of the tiger moth is read the manual take your time check check again then glue and also is you know don't use ca glue <laughs> unless you really want to uh, you know, I'm sure there's people out there that use it all the time. Now, I'm going to try and spray this as well. I presume it should, it should be okay. I mean, just get a bit of Scotch Bright on there or something. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. So it hides the crimes, as Adam Savage would say. So that's pretty. So it's, uh, it's only going to go to there. So I reckon. I reckon so that's going to be okay just need to pull that just a tad bit there just a tad I reckon I should use epoxy on this um, if I get CA glue down there it might because of that gap what I want to do is I want to fill epoxy into these into these gaps put it on and then kind of hold it with some um, some little pinches um i shouldn't is it going to break the phone no these little pinches but i'll probably put like a something over it so it protects the surface so let me mix up some epoxy um and we'll stick it on um yeah we'll stick it on and then we'll come back um i'm sure you don't want to be sitting here look at me mix up epoxy <laughs> you've seen it before so um, just to say trying to fit it in so we can actually do a bit more to this um, at least get all this done maybe get the get the horns in that could do it so that needs pushed up a bit but then again it's doing the same on this side so it's going to the characteristics of this flying is going to be interesting um, yeah okay let me get some epoxy alrighty so for you it was a quick scene change for me it was a good hour and a half <laughs> I wanted because it was quite a bit that uh, we put into the um, the rudder because of the thick hole. I wanted it to give, make sure it was absolutely tightened so it wouldn't uh, wouldn't fall off. So here we go. Look, my uh, my 3D printing leftovers. They always come in handy. So let's give this a go and hopefully that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's kind of a bit stiff. I mean, you know, it's, 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 that's not bad. The servo should sort that out. Oh, look at that. I'm happy. Don't worry about all the yuckiness on the underside. I'll probably get that off. One thing I did notice when uh, gluing this. Um, let's see if I can show it in shot. If we can. 
you probably can't really see that but this this needs to go out a bit more it's like the twist it's not a biggie it's not a biggie at all um, but yeah but I'm happy with that I mean that's that's not bad it's not bad you can't miss <laughs> in the wrong position here but there you go look flappy hello there hello there hello there excellent look at that I mean okay there's a little you know probably a millimeter maybe two millimeters just of a, a drop down but it's a drop down both sides almost so it probably needs pushing up a bit for some reason I don't know why maybe I could sort that out I don't know but you know with a bit of trimming now I'm not too worried I want to see if I can spray this I have got some paints which I'll show you in a little while when I've got some glue down here <laughs> tripled down my port again um, but yeah that's uh, I think I've got to get out claws I mean that's that's all good I mean we'll have to probably do a shop with this I think with the uh, the thumbnail or something I don't know is it there's a there's an art to this thumbnail business <laughs> but there you go look straight lovely I was worried about that because of the hole but where I filled it with um, uh, um, epoxy it's it's solid and that will only get stronger and stronger so yeah, so we are ready to move on to the next stage. Now the next stage, um, we'll keep it. We'll keep it this angle. Actually, I'll just spin you a bit. So uh, hold tight. There we go. Um, let's get all these CA glue out of the way and all that because that's just really dangerous. <laughs> um, yeah, I use all these to to mix up the the epoxy. I've mixed up too much epoxy on there actually, but there you go. It'll all come back off. But always keep my scraps. Always keeping them. Just for that sort of thing, for um, uh, for making epoxy, that probably come off actually, but not to worry. So if I come round, if I come round, you're still looking at the tail. So um, yeah, have a good look at the tail. The next part is to put in the control horns in. Um, so we're going to have a back. I've got. I put. Should I put the wheel? On? No, I'll put the wheel on in a minute. Um, I just want to get these control horns in um, because then I'll move move the uh, so that's we're on that stage now putting the control horns in so you got a little bag of control horns and screws I'm not sure why they've got screws but you know but uh, I'm sure I'm sure what we'll figure out but I'm going to go by what it says on the book Maybe the screw, ah, I think, oh, I didn't, in fact, I don't know what the screws are for. We'll, we'll point out. <laughs> right, so if I spin this round, like a record baby, right round, right round. Um, oh, thank you much. Get that in there. Right. Now these uh, control horns have got to be pointing that way. Is, there, is, it, is that going to go all the way through? Yep, that does. It feels like it's going to break, but it's not. So that points to that way. Here's a tight fit, which is a good thing. I'm not going to stick these in. Um, push that in. Oh, someone's dinging on my dinger. Right, so that's how they sit in. There's, and then on the other side, as you can see here, once the light sorts itself out, let's just turn that around so you can see that. Am I fully zoomed in? I am fully zoomed in. You can see where it's pressed through the material. Um, what, <laughs> what I didn't realise is that it wasn't cut on the top. A bit silly of me, isn't it? I saw the bottom but I didn't see the top but that's okay um, because it does get pushed down you see so let's just try and push this down like so so I can always heat this up with a heat gun afterwards it's almost like actually I want to cut around that very gently so I don't end up slipping and cutting the uh, the rudder that wouldn't be so good would it now so if I get that off 
I should be, you can see what I'm doing just about, can you? I think you can. So let's just get that little. I must admit, it's something satisfying. Now, when you, <laughs> if you was laughing when you, I told, first told you earlier on in the video about the rudder, James from Motion RC apparently did do something the same. He put the rudder on before you put the wheel on. So it does, you know, you get excited. You don't really think of that. That's why. But you know, this is an, an apology to all the fantastic people out there that make all these balsa models not models planes right now you got this little cap we can see that that slips over it um, this would be interesting it just holds it there let's just make sure it's the right way I don't think it has got a right way there's a flatter edge and then there's a bumpy edge so I presume the flatter edge would want to go down there you go right let's get some pliers actually Doo -doo -doo. some bulky pliers get some pliers and push these down there you go who's dinging 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 so I've got I'm pushing up from underneath as well And pushing at the top at the same time you can hear it it's got kind of like a I think that's it there so there's our little control horns honey 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 we've got to screw this down I haven't glued that in yet I was waiting for this now uh, let's while we're upside down let's get the screws which are also in the wheel pack there's the wheels it will the wheel should I say the tail wheel uh, it's all getting hot in the UK again. It was absolutely horrible this morning. But the worst thing about it, it's flyable weather. I should be out seeing if anyone can be teaching me to fly today. But I'm a patient man. Okay, so let's just get that going into the plastic. He says, do I need a bit better, bigger, bigger tip? I do. Yes, I do. Um, I could get a little. I could get a little um, drill bit, but I won't. Right, so I'm just going to push that in, make sure that's all okay. Make sure I'm square, which I am. And then we shall screw away. Oh yeah. Nice. Not going too mad because I don't want to break. But as I said, this is very well made. It's just me that's cocking it all up. Okay, I'm getting tight now. I don't want to do Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I'll do a couple of fingers until I feel that it's nice. That feels good. And then there's another screw that also goes in. I was actually looking on the internet for camo tiger moss. I couldn't actually find a lot of them. Most of them were different colours, even like real tiger moths. Because I was trying to match the paint and I ended up getting some RAF colours from 1941 to 1945. Was it? Yeah. Hoping that's the same green. The green didn't really change that much ish. Um, We've got another another one to do in the rudder. So, if I can get it out of the bag, get it out of the bag. So let's do the rudder and let's make sure that I put it the right way. <laughs> so it is telling me that I need to put it this way. This way. The way that you can't see. There you go. Through here. So let's push that through there. Oh, there you go. Funky. And then we've got this again, so let's put it on the flat side. See, this was already cut, you see. This is what I thought the other ones were cut. But once again, I'm not checking and double checking. Probably because I'm making a YouTube movie at the same time. Probably. 
my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So, my wife says I've got to stop saying so. No! No, 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 no! Oh, no! Why do you always drop the most smallest of grub screws? I'm on the floor. You lot just, you know, chat amongst yourselves. Ah, that's the most smallest, blackest grub screw. And he only gone and found it. He gone and found it. Oh, God. Right, you can stop talking amongst yourselves now. I'm back. Just to go show what I was just looking for. Um, let's see if I get it in shot. There we go. That is a diddy scrubs and that but just fell on the hanger floor. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's actually getting hot in here. <laughs> right, so these go into these little silver bushes you get. You've got two silver bushes uh, with the grub screw bits in. Um, Make sure you don't, make sure you don't, and there's, it's an Allen key again. So that's, 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 there you go, that's what I'm screwing in. Uh, which obviously goes on here. Let's bring that back out again, so that, just do that there. Then we've got our funky wheel, oh yes. No, that's not the hole, is it Chris, that's the hole. Stick it in there, right one, there we go, oh look at that. Might put some uh, grease on there. That's a nice. Nice wheel. And then we've got another one. When you put this in, if it starts to feel tight, it means you're threading it. Cross threading it. There you go. Look. All right. We have finished the towel section. I've still got a couple of tweaks to do, and we will get there. Um, we've got to do a bit of spraying and all sorts of things. Um, but we are really making headway, and we have done the things. If a noob like me can do it in fixes and get it back to normal, anybody can, really. Um, as I say, it's, it's a beautiful plane. I just love this balsa. It is, it is lovely. I, I'm falling in love with it. Anyway, um, subscribers, if you do like my videos, please subscribe. It does help me. And if you want to not miss any of my movies, press the bell and it will ding you every time I do a movie. But thank you to all them subscribers. I think it's 270 something. Thank you so, so much. You know, we want to keep pushing out there. I want to keep feeding... Uh, <laughs> my failures to as many people as I can so you don't have to make them but uh, yeah so we're back with the Friday feeling next Friday um, today was a bit of an exception unless it's uh, really hot but I'm going to try and get some uh, cooling into the hangar um, so then we're all good but until then keep safe have fun and keep flying thanks for popping by now see you now bye bye